है Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I am collaborating with Stylevana. They gifted me a whole bunch of items, and I'm really, really excited to try them out. I have seen them on multiple channels, including Robert Welsh and a whole bunch of other of my friends that have collabed with them. If you guys have not heard of Stylevana, Stylevana is an Asian-based makeup and skincare company. You can go on their website. They literally have everything on there, and they also have affordable skincare and makeup. I skimmed through their website and I had seen a lot of really cute things and it is really affordable. So I'm really, really excited to try the products. I do have a box here. They sent me a few items, enough for almost a full face. And yeah, instead of rambling, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that I got from them is the Perderm Hyaluronic Acid Essence Mask. This is for hydrating, soothing, and vitamin. I will not be trying this on because I already have my skincare on. I washed my face about an hour ago and put on all my skincare. The first thing I'm gonna go in with is a primer. I did not get a primer, so I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer just to add a little bit more hydration to this dry winter skin. This stuff feels so good. I think I'd mentioned it in my last two videos, my last few videos that I really liked it. Anything to hydrate this face, make it look dewy, I am all here for. The first product that I'm gonna go in with is by Meanbox. This is the Pony Effect Everlasting Cushion Foundation. I got it in the shade Nude Beige. On the website, there are only three colors, so I'm really hoping that this does match because, I mean, I feel like my foundation never matches anyway, so. <laughs> It's totally fine. This is a cushion foundation. It is a cream foundation. It is for that natural look. It's pretty much just for a combination in dry skin, which I do have dry skin, and I, in some areas I do kind of get oily. It opens up like this, and you have the cushion. I'm assuming this guy right here is a refill. For one side, I'm gonna go in with the pad, and the other side, I'm gonna go in with a brush. I'm just gonna see how it works out. Like I said, I've never used anything like this before, so I'm really excited. Okay, let's start from the center and work my way out. Wow, okay. That is pretty pigmented so far. I'm just gonna gradually kind of like jack this a little bit. It smells really good, it's, mmm. It smells florally. I actually really like the applicator. It's dispersing the color really well. The color is actually spot on. I was not expecting that. You guys already know that I am literally the worst when it comes to shade matching. I can't get it right for the life of me. Right now, this gives really good coverage. And I'd probably say this is like a medium to buildable coverage, but it gives you that like nice dewiness. Do you see how dewy that is? It's beautiful. I have not dipped back in. I'm just using what, what I have left, but I am gonna dip back in just one dab. Yeah, even one dab, do you see that you guys? One dab and you're good. Wow. That is nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a brush. This works so well. The brush that I'm gonna go in with is my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. This one is second to my Il Maquillage one. So right off the bat, the brush is not my favorite with it. I would stick with the pad that it comes with only because you really have to push down into the pan. And I had to dip in twice. Coverage is still the same though. I really love how like dewy that is. I'm gonna go in with the pad and just kind of clean up a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of dab this in. The smell is really nice, but it kind of gives me like old school makeup smell, like roses or something. All right guys, so the next thing that we're gonna do is play with some eyeshadow. I already primed my eyes, got my brows done, put on a little bit of powder, all that stuff. The next thing that we have here is by Box. This is the color pattern palette. I got mine in coral pattern and 
and this retails for $16.09. It looks like here you have six shades, five of which are matte. You have a shimmer and then you have a blush down here is what I'm assuming it is. It has all the colors on the back. And I don't normally go for colors like this, but I think I'm just gonna do a very neutral toned look with this. I'm gonna swatch a few. So obviously I'm gonna do the shimmer shade. Ooh, this is kind of cushiony. As you guys can tell right off the bat, the matte swatched really well. There is no skipping. It's very, very pigmented. The shimmer though didn't perform as well, but it may be different going on the eyes. For the first shade, I'm gonna go in with three, which is Swing Coral. There's a lot of product that comes off in here and it has your regular kickback for eyeshadow. I'm feeling this is gonna be really pigmented. Yeah, that is pigmented right off the bat. And because this is like more of an Asian type or Korean type makeup, I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. Maybe the eyeliner though, you guys know I have to do my eyeliner. But like I mentioned before, I've never done Korean skincare, Asian makeup, none of that. And this is really exciting. I don't normally do coral shades, but this is really pretty. Next shade I'm gonna go in with is two. This one is Romantic Sundown. This is coming off more orangey brown. In the pan, it looks more of just like a mauve -y color. Not bad though. These are really pigmented. If I haven't said that already, these are really pigmented. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is number six. It's called Cinnamon Powder. I'm gonna add just a little bit like down here and up here. I'm gonna make kind of like a V. All right. So there is that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this eye. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and blend for too long because it's just gonna take forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and then we're gonna get to the shimmer. I'm really excited to try the shimmer. For my lid, I'm gonna go in with Photo Spot. It's the shade right here. Oh, oh, okay. Hold up one second. Okay, so for this shade, it's not as shimmery. It's more, I don't know if you guys can see, it's more of like a glitter. I'm actually really surprised with how glittery this looks. I was not expecting this. It's actually really pretty. And I'm not getting any fallout with this right now. I'm gonna go back in with my brush and I'm gonna grab the darker brown shade. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more over here just to mesh it together. Now I'm gonna apply my eyeliner and some false lashes and I'll be back in just a second. All right guys, I am back. I finished my eyes off. I did a little bit of black eyeshadow, eyeliner, and my most favorite falsies, my Ardell Wispies. Not to be confused with the Demi Wispies. The Demi Wispies bring up my eyes too much and they're just shaped very weird for me. Anyways, so that's what I have on right now. And now we're gonna get into the next product and we're really excited for this. This is the I think it's Riray Re Re Triple Shading Three Color Bronzer Palette. And it retails for $9.99. It pretty much just says that it's a bronzing powder. It comes in a powder form. The packaging is really, really simple. It does come with a mirror. You have the fair shade medium and dark. Between these two shades, it looks like this one is more of a like a greeny tone or a gray tone, and this one's a little bit more warm, I guess you can say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix all of the colors together. Okay, the color is really nice. It's not as warm as I thought it would be. Look at that. It looks chiseled out right now. Forgot to mention that this is all matte. Layering this is really nice. Also, with layering this on top of the cushion foundation, the cushion foundation isn't moving anywhere. There's no skipping. My skin looks really good. And I'm just gonna add a little bit up here. Make this five head go away. Bring this down just a little bit because I don't wanna be looking like a bobblehead. I say that every single time. <laughs> Do not forget your neck, ladies. Even if it's just a tiny bit, do not forget it. And if you put your hair up, don't forget to get the back too. I've seen that before where people just put it down their neck and you can see the difference from this side to the back. Yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. 
but my hair is gonna be down and I'm at home, so we good. Next thing that I have here is by McQueen New York. This is the Lovesome Blusher. I got it in the shade Baby Pink, and this retails for $6.39. The packaging is really cute. I haven't even really mentioned the packaging on a lot of it, but this packaging is very simple, sleek, cute. It has got the frosted cover. This is really cute. I really love this color. I am a huge, huge fan of just a like cute pink type of blush. Like when you just come out of the snow and you've got those rosy cheeks and nose, I love that color. It just looks fresh to me. Can't really see it on my skin, so I'm hoping it shows up. I'm gonna stick this back here. I like putting my blushes back here. Ooh, that's pretty. Like look at how pretty this pink is. Yes, I love this. All right, guys, I didn't get any highlighter, but I will be putting on just a tiny, tiny bit of highlighter. What am I going to go in with? I'm just going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Highlighter in three, just a tiny bit, though. Like, a little bit right there, right there. My nose is already good. Like, I don't need no highlighter there. My forehead is just a little bit up here, but you could still see the dewiness peeking through. I didn't powder my forehead area right here or along here, and you can still see the dewiness. That is from the foundation. I'm loving the way this is turning out. My face looks fresh and natural. This is pretty much like if I were to go to work, I would have definitely have worn this. Like this is the look that I would have worn. Very, very simple, except when we get to the lip part. The lip part's gonna be a little a little crazy. The next product that we have here is by McQueen. This is a tinted lipstick, but you can also use this on your cheeks. This retails for $3.69, and the shade that I got is number five red. Ooh! Oh my god, this smells so good! Oh my god, this smells intoxicating. This smells like passion fruit, passion fruit, guava. It reminds me of my childhood though. Packaging on this is super cute. It's tiny, the frosted packaging. Consistency is jelly, I guess you can say. It's very thick though. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lips. Mm. The texture is really moisturizing, but it's also moussey. Oh my God, this feels so good. Mm. This feels like the new Rare Beauty Vulnerable Lip, is it? glossy lip balm. All right, guys, I am pleasantly surprised in a good way. I didn't want to have expectations. I just kind of went into this like, mm, we'll just go ahead and try some new stuff. But the first thing that I did try is the Pony Effect Cushion Foundation. I was pleasantly surprised with this. I have never tried a cushion foundation before. I know, I know. Like, I'm always late to the game. You guys already know this. There's a lot of product in here. I love the applicator. This gave you that dewy effect with almost being a full coverage. It's absolutely beautiful. My face feels good. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin. It's not settling into any of my fine lines. It's not grabbing onto any of my dry patches. Now, the only thing that I have to say about it is the smell of it. It smells very, very strongly of rose. After a while, it does go away. Oh, and on top of that, you get a refill to go with that. This is $25, so you are paying for two cushions, but to me, that's totally worth it. The next thing that I have is by Meme Box. This is the color pattern palette in coral. I was surprised with this one. The colors are really pretty. Like I said, I don't normally do like these coral shades, but when you put that brown on, it kind of neutralizes it. And this is really, really pretty. I love all the shades in here. They blended out really well. None of them skipped. I was actually really surprised with this glitter shade here. It is more of a glitter and there was no fallout. Packaging is really cute. It's got that frosted plastic on the outside. You can tell it's of quality, so I really, really enjoyed this. Next, we have the Re-Ray. Re-Ray, Re-Ray, I'm not quite sure, triple shading bronzer. This bronzer is really, really good. I mixed all the colors together. I love the color that it makes when you do all three. Next, we have the McQueen Love Some Blusher in Baby Pink. I originally thought that this was going to be a 
like bright pink blush, but it is not. It is very neutral. It is toned down. It is muted. It has no shimmer in it. It's matte. It is beautiful. I love it. Just like that touch of pink. Again, the packaging is really cute. I have a feeling that this is going to be a blush that I'm going to be using a lot of. And last but not least, we have the Cushion Tint Lip and Cheek Lipstick blush by McQueen New York. I love the packaging on this. It's super cute. Again, it is frosted. I've never really seen anything like this before for a lip product. Really do love, love, love the way that this feels when applying this to my lips. When I put my lips together, it feels so smooth and moisturizing. It feels like pillows and clouds on your lips. Oh my God. The smell is to die for. I really, really enjoy this. And this is only $3.49, I think that's what it is. Three something, I don't know, but this is awesome. I really, really enjoyed everything down to the packaging, the way that they performed, the prices, they were really, really affordable. If you guys haven't checked out any Asian makeup, whether it be Korean, Japanese, you guys need to check out this website. Everything is super affordable. And I do have a code for you guys, which will be in the description box down below. You guys are gonna be good to go. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it for my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If you guys have tried any Asian skincare or makeup products, please let me know in the comment section down below. I am just blown away with everything that I did try. I'm I'm like actually hoping that I'm not screaming into the mic. That's how much I love this. So yeah, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? Um, I'm gonna go, excuse me. Oh my God. Oh, that's not so good. It's not good, you can't. Forget to subscribe, subscribe to my channel.